all right welcome back to another video i've already made videos about android 12 and all its betas you can check all of them out up over here in the cards there all right so welcome to android 12 beta 4 stick around till the end of the video because there is one major change and the android easter egg for this particular version android 12 is finally out stick around till the end of the video to find out how and what it is with that said if you're interested in android updates and how upcoming versions of android will look make sure to leave a like drop a comment and subscribe to the channel with that said this shares and let's take that out. As you can see clearly there is a new build number and there, this is the beta 4 although there are no major changes in this but there are quite a few interesting changes which we will go through now in this particular video. Alright, the first change is very subtle. Over here now it has, instead of being called the home center, it's being called device controls. Coming to the quick panels itself, if we go into the internet panel now. So previously we had a turn off Wi-Fi toggle over here. Now we have a Wi-Fi toggle over here, up here. Right now I don't have a SIM installed, so that's why you don't see any LTE connection. With When the LTE connection does come up, it will be under the see all tab and you can switch between Wi-Fi and data. So that's something that has slightly changed. I think this is a better version of it. The next interesting change. All right. Over here. Can you see the G logo? Yes. Now material U color schemes are going to seep into the G logo of the Google widget. The same with the microphone of the Google Assistant and the lens widget as well. How it changes. Let me just change a couple of wallpapers and show you again. So now I'm here in the themes selection of the same wallpaper. So if I change the color scheme over here to something based on blue. All right, now things have changed and let's just look at the Google logo again quickly. So yeah, you can see the Google logo has changed a lot and uh, also the color scheme in the lens and the assistant icon. So this is a recent change which we have seen in beta 4. This did not happen before. So yeah, I think that's a pretty cool way of introducing material you design now talking about all the themed icons etc let me just go into the wallpaper and style if i go down over here you can see across uh, themed icons it is written as beta because technically it is in beta and it's not applying through all the icons all right so over here i have all just google icons so you can see that it's sticking to the material you and themed icon concept but once i scroll over you see the other icons have not yet adapted to it so that's something and i guess just a visual difference nothing major this was there even last time so yeah just the beta icon written there is a something of a change now let's move on a lot of things i noticed in the settings uh, menu Technically, the adoption of material U has increased over here. So if I go into systems and gestures, so these animations before were the older ones, which used to be there before. Now it is the newer ones. It's refreshed for this particular Android 12 update and shows graphics from latest Pixel phones. So that's something new and nice because previously it wasn't like that. The only this system navigation gesture I still feel is from the older Android 11 animation, but that's about it. Moving on, this is not exactly an Android 12 update. This was there in other Android phones as well. So now if I go into photos over here, I get a widget selection. So you get a memories widget over here. So if I select it and place it onto the home screen, it will try and load up memories. All right, so in the beta 3, I could not show you how the link feature in the recent apps menu works. But over here, you can see I had a Chrome tab opened. Let me just quickly reload it. Yeah, so when you go into the recent menu, you get this link icon over here. What that means is that you can just click on it and the link pops up. You can directly start sharing from here if and you have the share option to open up everything or you can just drag and drop it to any of your recent contacts that also can be done now this has been extended a bit more in this particular beta so let me just go over to something visual like instagram now you can see a gallery logo popping up over here so that's something new now you can although you could use the select button and select pictures to you know share save etc copy it or do a lens search now that has been extended to over here as well you don't even need to click here 
can just tap here again your quick sharing options will come up you still get the lens copy share and save uh, prompts over there as well another neat little thing which i did not get to work but i saw that in the pixel 5 it's working according to some other videos which is that if i go into notifications i already said probably in the beta 2 which was a do not disturb mode called gaming mode uh, so this is a gaming dashboard essentially this will come up as a pop-up over here and you will have various options like fps counter screenshots and live streaming to youtube as well so that's functioning in some of the phones unfortunately in multiple games i tried but it could not make it work on my google pixel 4a all right another thing which the material you has adopted is the keyboard so this game maps just a, a app update you can see over here the keyboard has changed the pill shaped fill colors are according to the theme not just that if i just change the theme colors from the wallpaper settings over here back to this you can see the keyboard will again change with the fill colors according to the material you theming and it looks really great in my opinion the only thing is it does not have a dark mode uh, what you have to do to get this working is go to the settings if you go into themes you will see another option called as dynamic color so this is it if you set it to that and not system auto it will adopt to material you things now the next thing is the most important easter egg of android always which is the android animation for that version of the easter egg now if i just go to android version and over here you can see everything now let me just keep tapping it you will see the widget which was told that it will come up as the android 12 widget adapting to the colors has come up so this shows the current time you can see it's 10 1 over here on my device and it comes here again it ticked to 10 2 just right now but the fun part is this version is called android 12 so when you move the minutes hand to make it meet at 12 mark you will see the Android 12 Easter egg pops up and the colors are according to the material you design element. Not just that, let's just do another color over here just to showcase it to you. I turned it to blue. Let's just go into it again. You can see the color of the clock has also changed. Let me just go to 12. Oops. Also the haptic feedback while doing it is really, really awesome. You should try it out. And there you go again the color themes have changed let me just change wallpapers pretty quickly so that i can show you a few more interesting ones um, let's go to something awesome so the themes have changed again let me see if there are another colors no cool so let's just go to all right so automatically you can see the color of the clock has changed let me just tick it back to 12 and there you have it that's the animation now honestly i'm not really a fan of how it looks because first of all the background of your wallpaper comes up and the colors are good but it looks like i don't know about that colorblind test which used to be there for your bio books maybe if anybody remembers so that's pretty much it about all the updates in the beta 4 again the major updates are in the background around apis and the background functionalities usage of resources etc there are few bugs fixes as well apart from that nothing major changed apart from the things that i have shown you right now so thanks a lot for watching i'll catch you in the next video and hopefully android 12 official update will be live soon.